Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me in Fishing Teclan Bay and what we're going to do is look around products that we attach to our box. Now you don't need every single one of them and um, that's not an essential thing but what we do need um, is to to have certain things on this box when we are commercial fishing um, whether that's pole rests whether that's attachments for things we're just going to go through some that are on the market and what they do and why would we use them right so there's thousands we stood next to a Preston wall here and again it's not all about Preston and we've got an, a, a difference and a plethora of different types for you to have a look at so number one is a side tray now side trays i have got a side trays that i've used video um or my favorite side trays video have a look through the playlist and that gives you an idea of some that are out there there's still newer ones that are coming out all the time so as a change we're gonna pull up a census side tray so like i say you don't need a side tray that's as big as this so this is what they call a free um an a leg side tray so you would attach this to your box and you would have two additional legs there and you could use that for stability if you were match fishing and you wanted a big um space but also it's got a huge hood on it as well to keep you it is absolutely massive that's like an umbrella um of a hood on it but the main thing that we want out of this video is that you don't have to buy specific ones most if not all big manufacturers definitely will have inserts and for different legs so if you've got a 30 mil leg or a 28 mil leg or a 36 mil leg then there's going to be an insert for you which means that you can make that product fit your box which is helpful obviously when if you see something that you like you can pick that and you're all good so i'm going to show you a couple of different other side trays so that's a, a massive or a hooded one so that's big match fishing or you know nat natural venue fishing or if you're using a lot of baits and you want to get along your side tray and a hood obviously helps with the elements so i'm going to pull out another one this is from preston this is a ventolite range um it's a little similar to what i've got but mine's got a hood on some you can see there's two dots there so you could probably buy the hood separately if you wanted to um or you could if you've got the hooded you can take the hood off if you don't want it on all the time um the gray the click on via two bull clips and again they have inserts um so really really useful and it's a big part of your fishing is a side tray i've got another one that's just behind camera here a garbolino one if you want something a little smaller um there's a single leg one there um garbolino side tray it's a rock rock solid i've i had one on my uh, uh on my garbo box it's a double one absolutely beasts of a thing so the ones with the legs you can obviously add additional uh, things on like the one that you saw with uh, the um, big kite over the top of it and um, the canopy those you can obviously have uh, the legs you can still attach more attachments to um, the other one the other style that we've not mentioned is another one from Sensus, but lots of makes to it is a storm tray so what this is is effectively a storm storm tray it's completely eva sealed um, and that allows you to keep everything shut and in there the bottom obviously drops down a little bit when it's full it's got holes in it to what for the water to drain again another type of side tray that you could use so they're the real side tray big world and, and again there's hundreds out there that most of your big brands will have the inserts that you can choose so going on to a few attachments so this is a, a pole support now a lot of um, uh, manufacturers do them they are telescopic so that you can fit to the size of width of legs that you've got and again they come with the insert so you would able to make it fit whatever you wanted effectively that's for if you're fishing uh, out in front of you and you would like a, a rest to help you take a little bit of pressure off holding the pole that's what you want going down to pole fishing and keeping with the theme this one is a standard Preston roost um, the, you can alter the different angle of height on it um, for depending on what's behind you um, it extends and obviously you put your spare top kits or your spare rods on there and it keeps them safe that's the whole idea is of that that you don't knock them off the stand on them that's there they do a bigger version and other manufacturers do bigger versions too 
or they sometimes have them as attachments where you can add them and you have a tripod with the same top on to hold them it's effectively for having multiple kits out and just keeping them safe if you want even if you're fishing a pleasure session i'll have it out because i might have two or three different kits on it and i've got my cupping kit on there and they're not sliding about falling over so important next in the so this is a uh, feeder ram and this one is a matrix and this one i think is an extendable so extendables are good because you can do that you can alter the angle so if you want to move the angle up or down depending on if you're higher peg lower peg and um, if you're on a river they are great um, i would absolutely recommend those um, if you're doing that and now obviously you have to get a top this is just one version of many that you could get on um, and it, it extends obviously depending on what size rod you use so a feeder arm are really really good personally i have a fixed feeder arm which is non-bendable um, and is a, an easy takeoff um, quick release 3d attachment which i'll show you in a second from matrix um, so feeder arm is really essential if you are feeder fishing um, to help you now this believe it or not is one of my favorite bits of kit so this is what you would have the butt section of your rod on but also you can have many different things on it and these are the 3d attachments so underneath there's a button and you can press and obviously pull the attachment out and obviously it's it's uh, for sale so it's got it's attached but effectively clicks in so this part can stay in your box all day long and it just means that you this part you can then click in nice and quick now this is one butt rest but what i prefer is a gripper style rest which you could just screw into there again it's all 3d so you can press the button and out that comes and this part here just screws on and allows you to release it um so if you, you can buy those separately so you could have a load of these done up with the little clickings and you can choose the one which suits you for that day but this one stops them from stealing your rod so very very important let's put those down there so moving on to spray bars now i used to fish with a spray bar all the time and they are good you know you can rest your pole sections on it you can put um, bits and bobs in it now the preston uh, the matrix one also comes uh, still with that release so like you see there's a pole sock that's got that screw attached on it which means when i come to fishing obviously it's not straight but we could click it straight on there and it's on and that's that's on solid and if i wanted it off all i have to do is take it off and if i wanted to unscrew this and attach it to something else or i had multiple of those screws what you could do is just put that back in there uh, which is just a sensible idea the amount of uh, these are broken in time where i've tightened the pole sock too much and it's broke the thing on it and then you've ended up this is useless apart from resting stuff on uh, but they are really good for resting bits and bobs on and if you want your pole sock spaced out then you know that that might work for you or another attachment on it going on pole socks there's a few different types as well so this one is very similar to the one that uh preston uh, uh, that uh, i've just showed you there that the matrix one the annoying thing is though that they should they've got a, they fit onto a preston square attachment which is a snap lock uh, which can stay on your box but it doesn't come with it with the thing and it really really winds me up that so you have to buy them separate and it does annoy you that that you have to do that um, but they are this one is the one i fish with which is absolutely fantastic it allows you to put your number three section in there and obviously your pole section in there 99 percent of the time i fish with the opposite way around because i'm left-handed so mine goes in there and the pole would go in that way but again it's double-sided to use on that snap lock system and it's also got a screw on the bottom if you want to fix it like it is on the 3d attachments another one which is something i hate is putting an umbrella up but sometimes it's a necessity so i have one in my box this one's a new fish one <clears throat> very similar like you say look you can see all the different attachments for different legs put it on your leg use this to screw um, and put your pole through there just really helpful um, than trying to find sticking it in, in in the ground sometimes it's a gravel peg and you can't do that so umbrella arm always good to have as an attachment and last but not least is a bait bowl again 
you don't have to have one of these but these are great if you're fishing ground bait or, or micro pellets and it's the weather's not too great and you can just have it attached on or paste is a good one and um, you can have it just attached and next to your feet so you can literally as you fill it up and it's just perfect if you've got your your rod in front of you there and you're picking your rod up there and you're your landing nets over the top this could just sit across where your knees are and you can literally boom and you fill up and you're absolutely spot on so i know that was a quick fire craziness of of stuff and there is a lot more different attachments but for me they're the core attachments that i would look at in in, in, a, in a most pleasure commercial match fishing scenario you can make them bigger or better or add more of course you can but you've only got a certain amount of space on your box so that's it hopefully it's been helpful to you um, like I say there's more additional things there's keeping at arms there's various different uh, side trays and different attachments but for me these are the key ones that you really are and the everyday ones that you could use so thank you very much for watching if you want to join us on the facebook group at angling for you uh, or the instagram at angling underscore for you if you want to see any other videos then have a look through the playlist on angling for you um or on back to basics if you want to look at the basics um and if you could like share and subscribe that'd be fantastic and join the angling for you family until the next one guys thank you very much for watching Talons.